In this video, we're gonna be reviewing a dental implant versus a bridge. Which one's the best treatment option? If you're watching this video, you might have a missing tooth. You might be trying to figure out how to best spend your hard-earned dollars to replace a missing tooth or teeth. Or you just love dental information. Whatever it is, I'm gonna give you my opinion of which procedure I prefer at the end of this video, but first I wanna review what each of these procedures are as far as the bridge versus the implant and the pros and cons of each. Here's a video of a dental bridge procedure. And we are off to the races here, guys. So for the dental bridge, you can see there is a tooth missing, and then you have the adjacent teeth to the missing area. And with the bridge, what we do is we reduce the teeth next to the one that is missing. So you can see that we take our little instrument, we reduce the tooth that's in front of the missing one, and then we were gonna do the same thing on the back tooth. So once we reduce the teeth and we've created enough space for our restoration, we then will take an impression and make the bridge. So you can see it's basically three crowns all put together as one. Just like a bridge spans between two different spaces, that's what this does here. And then we submit it down just like that. So you can see from the video, we basically replace the missing tooth by holding on to the teeth adjacent to the missing one on either side of it. And the same thing applies if we are gonna be replacing multiple teeth. You, again, just hold, you anchor and hold on to the teeth adjacent to the missing ones. Now here are some of the pros of the dental bridge. Number one, longevity. So for the most part, a bridge over time should hold up pretty well. Now there are some studies that show that a three unit bridge, just like the one in our video that replaces one tooth towards the back, the 15 year survival rate of those bridges was around 90%. That's pretty good. Number two, as far as replacing a tooth in a short time frame, the bridge is pretty quick. Sometimes you can even mill these in the office the same day. And if they aren't able to, usually within a week or two, you should have your restoration back and could have your tooth replaced. Number three, it's fixed, meaning like it's cemented in there. It's not an option that you're gonna be taking in and out such as a partial. So the bridge is cemented in place and you don't have to take it in and out. The last one is financial. So the bridge will typically cost a little bit less than an implant, and you may have more coverage for this with your insurance. Now there's a ton of different insurances and plans out there, so this could vary dramatically depending on where you are, what plan you have, but in general, the bridge might cost a little bit less and still get that tooth replaced and something with something that's fixed and cemented in your mouth. So cons, over time, the bone that's underneath the tooth that is being replaced is likely to just kind of slowly resorb and atrophy over time because although you, were, you are technically replacing the tooth, you're not stimulating and utilizing the bone under, underneath it. So over time, this will shrink a little bit and can cause a little bit of space between the bridge and your gum tissue. Another con would be you're having to work on the adjacent teeth for the sake of replacing the missing one. So if these teeth are perfectly healthy, then it may not be a good idea to just grind them down for the sake of replacing the middle one. If they need dental treatment or if you've got big fillings, maybe they need crowns, then this could get to be more and more of a better option. But at the end of the day, you're still working on more teeth and you're having to utilize an anchor onto the adjacent teeth versus looking at just replacing the one individually and leaving the other two alone. Following up on our last con, to piggyback on that is that the adjacent teeth, the ones that the bridge is cemented onto, are not immune or bulletproof to having any other problems down the road. So it's possible that after the bridge is on there, one or maybe both the teeth could end up needing root canals, which then makes the bridge just a little bit weaker. They could still get cavities around them, or if you're gonna to continue to lose bone around them and the foundation of the bridge begins to become compromised, then you could have issues with the bridge. So you're having to work on them, and then on top of that, they're not bulletproof to issues down the road. The last one is cleansability and hygiene. So some patients don't really have a problem with this, but in general, you know, the bridge, since it's one piece and it's connected all the way across, you're not able to technically floss in between like where the tooth that's missing is. So what you have to do is either thread some floss underneath it or use some other sort of kind of flossing or brush material to get underneath the bridge or a water pick to clean underneath it. So a lot of patients don't have any problems with this, but this sometimes can be an issue uh, just depending on how easy it is to get underneath it and clean it really well. This have been doing bridges a long time and honestly it's still a great procedure to replace a missing tooth or teeth but the one thing like the most important thing to keep in mind with the bridge is i tell patients is that the bridge is only as good as the teeth that it's holding onto. 
I'm going to say that again. The bridge is only as good as the teeth that it's holding onto. Now, what this means as far as like when deciding to do a bridge, really the dentist, your dentist should be thinking about this as far as how good are these teeth and I, do I think that I'm going to have a lot of success with this procedure? Do they have big cavities? Do, is there a lot of tooth structure left? How good periodontally is the tooth? How good is the foundation of it? Is there enough space for the bridge? How much am I going to have to reduce the tooth to create space for it by the time I grind it down and get the bridge cemented? Basically, there's just a lot of things to think about. You shouldn't necessarily be stressing about them, but they are good things to, to maybe ask your dentist about and just to make sure you guys are on the same page as far as hey, is this a really good option? And assuming it is, how long would you expect it to last? Another thing that I forgot to mention earlier is that in general, the more teeth that we wanna replace or try to replace with the bridge, the more it starts to get a little bit, a little bit more unpredictable as far as the long-term success. I know what you're probably thinking right now. Sign me up for the bridge. When can we start? Let's move on to the dental implant. So with the dental implant, you can see that we, we have our missing tooth, but instead of grinding the adjacent teeth down, we take our instrument and we begin to create the space for the implant down in your bone. And then what we do is we, we draw a first little area and then we increase the width and the diameter of it. And then right here, the implant itself is just the little titanium post screw stud, whatever you wanna call it, that goes into your bone. And then what we do is we put a little connector piece and then put the tooth right on top of it, just like that. If you're more interested in that procedure, we actually have a separate video where we break that procedure down step by step from when we first start to when there's a tooth on it. So with the pros for the implant, the 15 year survival rate, according to a study, is around 95%. Now that's actually pretty comparable to the bridge if you think about it, but still 15 years at 95% that's a very predictable, successful treatment option to replace a missing tooth. Another pro is that it keeps everything kind of separate and individual. So we can avoid working on the adjacent teeth, leave those alone. And even if they need to be fixed, we can fix them individually. And we get to just replace the one tooth individually, which means if you have any problems with it down the road, I don't expect you to, but if you did, all you would have to do is work on the implant itself. Same thing with adjacent teeth. If one becomes compromised, it doesn't compromise the whole system and the whole thing like the bridge does. Typically, the dental implants, in my opinion, are easier to clean because you don't have one piece you're trying to get under. You take care of it just like you would any of your other teeth by, by flossing around it or using a different type of kind of floss or interproximal brush or the water pick to clean the gum tissue around it. So I think it's easier to clean. The dental implant, since it's all metal, it will, it will never get a cavity. Now, that doesn't mean you can't take care of it. You can still have problems with the gum tissue and the bone around it, but you don't have to worry about getting a cavity around it like you would with the bridge. Now for some of the cons. Number one, the cost. So on paper, up front, if you wanted to replace a missing tooth, the implant is going to be more expensive than the bridge. The dental implant, you're replacing it, you know, is more of a surgical procedure compared to the bridge where you're just working on the adjacent teeth. We are working with you know, your gum tissue, your bone, a little bit deeper structure. So it's a surgical procedure. So if it's me and I have a missing tooth or teeth, which procedure am I going to choose to have done? Assuming I'm a candidate for both, the dental implant all the way, no question. Now, I've seen a lot of successful bridges and they've gone great. I've seen some that have been in people's mouths for 50 years. And I see a lot of great implants. I've seen problems with both of them. But over time, typically from what I've seen, the dental implant, although it might seem a little bit more upfront, over time, I think it's a better investment as far as replacing a missing tooth because if you have any problems with the bridge, you kind of are back at square one. So you've paid for the bridge and then you're back at square one and then you've got to pay for another solution. So over time, if you're a candidate, if you've thought through things and talked through them with your dentist properly, again, that's why my opinion is the dental implant. They're both great procedures. There's a great quote by Sun Tzu who wrote The Art of War who says, the battle is won before it is fought. So whichever procedure you decide to go with, you've taken all the information into account so that you can make the best decision for you and for your mouth and for your wallet. Thank you guys for your time. I hope you got some value out of this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you guys for your time.